presented by UHS Pruitt Corporation, also known as Parkwood Health Care Properties. This is to rezone 4.96 acres of R62 and R10, which is split zone to OP. Properties located at 1501 North Lee Street. This is at the northeast corner of Bolton and North Lee. As you can see on the zoning map on the screen and there in your packet, there's a mixture of zoning patterns in the area. But the demarcation line seems to be that of Bolton Drive. Um, the zoning pattern to the south is dominated by commercial zoning, also commercial development. There's a convenience store in the corner and a grocery store to the south of that and some large vacant commercial tracks. To the north, you see a domination by single family residential zoning. Um, the applicant's facility has been there for 40 years. There's the Parkwood Development Center. It is both residential and institutional in nature. Um, it is a residential use, but with an institutional character. Um, years ago, when it was built, it was allowed in the residential zones that you see. But over the years, regulations have changed, and it has become a non-conforming use. Um, they're now proposing an expansion. And because it's a non-conforming use, they have to straighten out their zoning. And so the minimum that they can request is OP zoning for the conditional use, and that's what they are here to ask of them tonight. Um, character area for the area is Neighborhood Activity Center, which supports a variety of zonings, um, sort of a moderate density. Um, ironically, the R10 zoning that is on the northern half of this property is not compliant with the character area. The comprehensive plan actually supports increasing the magnitude and increasing the density something a little more intensive, such as OP. OP certainly is allowed. And there in the area, you'll see the existing facility. There's a campus of one-story buildings that are residential in nature, um, kind of in wings. And in your packets elsewhere, you see where they're proposing to expand with two additional buildings and some additional parking. Um, some pictures of the property, as you can see, it's sort of like it has looked for many, many years. Um, adjacent to that, you have a apartment complex to the east. Um, there is existing OP zoning, a small office building on the northwest corner, and then commercial zoning across the street. Um, staff, of course, has reviewed this, and we are finding that the rezoning request, um, consistent with the comprehensive plan, the standards for exercise of zoning power, and we are recommending approval of the rezoning to OP. Are there any questions um, of the staff on commissioners? If not, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? <coughs> All right, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being none, I will not close the public participation portion of this request. The discussion is now open amongst the commissioners. There being no discussion, <laughs> I will entertain a motion from the commissioners. Mr. Chairman, yes. I'd like to make a motion that we approve this zoning request to rezone the uh, 4.96 acres of single family residential R6 and R10 to office professional. Uh, as staff uh, stated, this is a situation basically that used to be conforming and it is no longer conforming. In, uh, the, uh, Zoning request is requesting the minimum uh, less intensive zoning that they can to uh, meet their needs. So, uh, with that rationale, I'd like to recommend we approve this request. All right, we have a motion by Mr. Wall. And a second by Mr. Wall. Is there any discussion on this motion? There being none, all in favor, please indicate by raising your hand. motion passes unanimously. 